Yeah? Oh, you can do better than that. One more time. Are you excited? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. You guys can tell these fans have been hanging. That was a good one over there. I like it. I like it. Um, and of course, on this end, you can see that we've got our acapella group hanging out down there. They're going to be singing for you guys tonight. It is going to be a magical night. Are you guys ready for some magic tonight? Yeah? Yeah? All right, you guys. Well, right now, it is time for Pitch Perfect 3, the world premiere, to begin. Check it out. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Tiffany Smith, and welcome to Pitch Perfect 3, the world premiere. We are here in Hollywood at the Dolby Theater. Tonight is the night where the Bellas are going to do their farewell tour. Ah, I'm so excited. And this carpet is massive, you guys. There's fans. There's the BuzzFeed Lounge. I'm going to give you a little tour to show you where our Bellas are going to be hanging out when they get here to this awesome premiere carpet. So follow me into the BuzzFeed Lounge. This is where they're going to be hanging out. This is their first stop on the carpet with the ladies of Ladylike. How you doing, ladies? Hi. Tiffany. Hello. I'm so excited for them to come in this room. What are, they, what are you guys going to be doing in here with the girls? Uh, we're going to be gabbing with all of them. <laughs> we have a Gippy booth. We have some drinks. And we're going to be starting a little party before the real madness begins. Oh, yeah. I got to say, that was so perfectly done that I'm like, <laughs> can you guys plan my parties from here on out? So when people walk in, they're like, we're going to do this, 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 and this. I love it. We got you, it. girl. <laughs> all right, you guys, we'll have fun in here. Maybe I'll do a little Giffy on the way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and now we are going to be coming right over here. There are so many fans. Are you guys excited? Yeah! 
We've got our pitches over here. They're super pumped to be here. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I love this. You guys, so we took you from the BuzzFeed Lounge. Fans are hanging out over here. They're going to keep making their way down the carpet over here. As you can see, the very beginning, there's some photogs over here. And then they will be making their way to Photog Alley, which is right over here. Our first stop is going to be the fashion cam. So you can see all the cool things that everybody's wearing. And of course, we've got all of our photogs over here who are going to be snapping some of the best photos of the Bellas tonight and everybody else who has everything to do with Pitch Perfect 3. And because we wanted to make sure you guys got to see everything, we've got this camera right up here that is going to be giving you all kinds of cool views. You're going to get to see the view from that side and from this side as the talent makes their way down the carpet. We've got even more stuff. How are you guys doing? You having fun? Yeah? <laughs> All right, so now I'm making my way further down the carpet through the craziness. This is what a live premiere is like. You never know who is going to be where. We've got interviews going on over here, and then we make our way down here. How you guys doing? To our lovely after be after buzz host. How you guys doing? We are uh, so excited. We are you, yeah, wait. it's gonna be a blast. Oh my gosh! So, so I'm like a little bit out of breath making my way down that carpet. It's a little long. Yeah, it's amazing. There's a lot of photographers. So for sure, for <laughs> sure. But it's good. It's all great. It's gonna be a blast. There, there's so much energy. I mean, the fans are so excited to see the whole cast. It's gonna be such an electric night. We cannot wait. Awesome. I cannot wait to see the interviews going on with you guys here. Yes. There's so much more stuff going on down the carpet. So. Follow me a little bit further. See you we'll be back. I'm sure you guys are gonna have so much fun. I'll pop by later. See yeah. you guys in a little bit. That's yeah. good. Of course, we've got more fans over here. Yeah! I wish that I just had fans following me like this all the time so they could just cheer for me. <laughs> so there's even more interviews as you make your way down this carpet. This is the social media area where, of course, we are gonna be having Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And reporters on this end who are gonna be interviewing our cast from Pitch Perfect 3. Almost to the end, but it's not over yet, you guys. This would not be a Pitch Perfect premiere without even more awesomeness. Of course, more fans hanging out. Are you guys ready for tonight? Yeah! <laughs> I love it. They're all so pumped up. We've made it almost to the end of the carpet, but fans are a huge part of Pitch Perfect. Another big part of Pitch Perfect, of course, is acapella. So this would not be a premiere without acapella going on. So they're going to make their way down this carpet to the Dolby Theater that's lined with so many fans. Are you guys excited? Yeah? Oh, you can do better than that. One more time. Are you excited? Yes? Yes? <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. You guys can tell these fans have been hanging. That was a good one over there. I like it. I like it. Um, and of course, on this end, you can see that we've got our acapella group hanging out down there. They're going to be singing for you guys tonight. It is going to be a magical night. Are you guys ready for some magic tonight? Yeah? Yeah? All right, you guys. Well, right now, it is time for Pitch Perfect 3, the world premiere to begin. Check it out. Thanks, Tiffany. Here we are. We're BuzzFeed Ladylike at the BuzzFeed Lounge at the Pitch Perfect 3 premiere with Kelly Jangle. Kelly, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, way to rock it, girl. And now we're going to play a little quick fire game of cast superlatives. Are you ready? I think so. I hope so. Okay. So who was most likely to be the biggest prankster on set? Rebel. Without a doubt. Like, not even I'm a pause. To fast. It was like lightning round? I don't know. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Okay. okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. Who's most likely to have pictures of their pet on their phone? Brittany. Brittany? 100%. Billy is like the love of her life. The love of many of our lives. Billy? Yeah. Is that a dog? Yeah, Billy Jean. Ooh. Yeah, it's her dog. I'm going to need Amazing. her to show that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Adorable. And final question. Who's the best selfie taker of all the cast? Mm, best selfie taker? Um, Esther Dean. Ooh, Ooh nice. Good point these days. Well, she always has, let's be real. But yeah. All right, are you ready to show Esther up in our Giphy little booth over there? Oh, I will. I, I will try. We got a couple of drinks over there if you want to loosen up, if you want to get. Best. Yeah, awesome. Let's take a Giphy together, girl. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Follow us over here. All right, here we go. So. Three. I just danced. I danced. Did, did it, it have to work? Did it work? Do you have to press a button? Did we have to? Are we, are we good at technology? <laughs> okay, oh, give oh. us a countdown. We're ready. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's like an extended gift. Yes. All Never right. Stop. All Never right. stop. Never stop. Never stop giving. Okay, okay, here we go. First gift. Ready? 
When in doubt, shimmy. When in doubt, when in doubt shimmy. Oh, shimmy hard. Shimmy yeah. fast. <laughs> oh my god, that's the longest game ever. I know. That was long. Yeah. Was very long game. That was. That was a movie. Oh my god. Ooh. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. Everything, I think. We had time for a little bit of everything in there. Does the public need to see that? <laughs> I don't know. Up to you. Uh, all right, should we, get, should we go to our next stop? Drinks? We have another stop. We got mocktails. We got mocktails. Okay, let's do it. Let's yeah. Do it. We're hopping over. We're getting a little oh, mocktail so. here. Okay. What do we have here? For you. Thank you. Mmm. So celebratory. All right, let's cheers, and then we're going to pass it off to Tiffany. Tiffany, to you. Cheers, girl. Cheers. Uh, oh, my gosh. I wish that they could actually bring one of those down to me over here at the other end of the carpet because it is a little bit of a trek, you guys. If you're just joining us, I'm Tiffany Smith and you are watching the world premiere of Pitch Perfect 3. We're live streaming. If you want to join the conversation, you guys, make sure you're using the hashtag Pitch Perfect Premiere. We want to see your pictures. We want to see your videos, all that good stuff. If you guys are having a riff off with your friends, make sure you send us that video because I'm sure that it's more awesome than anything I could put together on my Instagram. Um, you guys, this carpet is completely covered. If you can't be here with us in Hollywood, we've got every single angle on this carpet covered from the moment that the stars walk onto the carpet to, of course, the BuzzFeed lounge where they are hanging out with Ladylike. They're doing a little gifts in there. I think they're gonna be pretty awesome. Those girls are gonna definitely get them laughing and having a lot of fun, like they need help because you guys have all seen Pitch Perfect, I'm sure. And of course, they're gonna get their photos done. They're gonna make their way down and do a bunch of interviews, and then they're gonna make their way down to the area that I'm in right now. There's fans over there, there's interviews over here, and we have got our BuzzFeed crew, our hosts down here, doing their interviews. So they are gonna be talking to the stars of the movie. I'm here just to like kind of let you guys in on all the magic that happens at a world premiere. After they do their interviews over here, there's more fans on this side that are gonna be cheering. They're so pumped to be here. And then they're gonna make their way down to enter the Dolby Theater, where they're gonna be greeted by an acapella group. I mean, there's no better way to do it at a Pitch Perfect premiere than with an acapella group. I will save you guys from hearing me sing acapella tonight. Or I won't, I don't know, I won't make any promises. You never know what's gonna happen in an hour. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. Uh, but we've got so much good stuff for you guys. I wanna get you in the mood even more as if you needed it with a little clip for you guys. Check out this inside look at Pitch Perfect 3. I got my ticket for the long way round. I think from the very first movie, you could tell that we all had chemistry as a cast. Everyone was just joking around, and so much of that got in the movie. We knew that something special was happening, but I don't think that any of us really thought it was going to turn into what it turned into. When I'm gone. When I'm gone. We all get along like really, really well. And it's so awesome hanging out with them every day. These are my friends for life. So yeah, Bella's, Bella's for life. life. It's very emotional because this is our last film and these movies have been so instrumental in our lives. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You ain't seen nothing yet. In Pitch Perfect 3, you meet all of us in different stages in our lives since the last time you saw us. They've graduated college, have spread their wings, and are attempting to fly. Papaya Blair's delight with a shot of white privilege. Hopefully not becoming the failures we all expect them to be. You see us living our life, trying to figure out which direction we go and not doing so well. I quit my job. You got fired? No, I quit. It's fine. <gasps> oh, come on. This is an overreaction. I would do anything to sing with you guys again. Anything. Every year, the USO puts on this performance to support the troops in Europe. One last show together. Who's with me? Hell yeah. yeah. We just think that we're going to sing for fun and very quickly realize that it's a competition. On the tour, we've got three bands. You guys just sing other people's songs, right? Like a cover band. They're trying to intimidate us. Let's just do what you do. A reef off. Running her hands through my fro, bouncing on 20 balls while they sing on the radio. So wake me up when it's all over. Is it weird that everybody is better at the one thing that we do than, than we are at that thing? All right, ladies, pick up your tits. We're going to show them that we are not a joke. The 
other two movies are about these band of misfits and how we overcome obstacles. And the next one is about the family that we've created. I think there's something you should know. Man, there's something about these movies that can make anybody smile or feel something. Sometimes the clothes do not make the man. Perfect really strikes a chord in audiences' hearts because everybody likes a story about triumph and about coming together. Your real family doesn't hold you back. They lift you up. This really is the end of the Bellas as a group, but it's the beginning of the Bellas as a family. Let's Haka finish this. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, hi there. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. Cheers. I see you all have already uh, helped yourself to some cocktails. Yes. So this is the BuzzFeed Lounge. We are BuzzFeed Ladylike. And this is sort of the party before the party gets started. Mm -hmm. So with Pitch Perfect 3, it's kind of like, you know, senior superlative time. So we're going to hit you with a few superlatives and see who you can guess is which one. Love you, too. Yeah. Yeah. A movie like this, there's a lot of singing, there's a lot of dancing, there's a lot of rehearsing, I imagine. Uh, who in the cast is most likely to nail a routine on the first try? Yeah? In the entire cast? Wait, the entire... <laughs> I would have gone with Rebel Wilson. Yeah, Rebel. Let's, let's go Rebel. Yeah, give it to Rebel. No, all right. Let's go Rebel on that one. High props. Okay, so we're used to being on set a lot. There's a lot of chords, there's so many things to chip on. Who would you say was the biggest klutz on set? Or Guilty. who would be? Guilty. You? Yep. <laughs> I Did knocked over an entire craft table. Oh, yeah. Not the food. Yeah. Not the no, we food. No, we, we, said, we decided that was not you who did that. That was it DJ was, Looney it was who did that. Yeah. Twitter yeah. Dad James and DJ Looney did that. It wasn't oh, me. Okay. It was definitely not us. Okay. Last question? Yeah. Uh, who on set is the biggest foodie? Because we are starving. We love food. Oh, Elizabeth Banks, can we go? Can we get a group? Elizabeth Banks. Sure. Elizabeth Banks, yes. Yeah. 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 Big foodie. Yes. Right. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out. We're gonna take some gifts over here. Are y'all ready? Love it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's make some. Look at that. Yes! Oh. You had an outfit change during this gift. That's like your own wow. music video. A wardrobe malfunction, but yeah, I'll take it. So now, yes. uh, fellas, you can either Facebook, Twitter, or you can email or text this to yourself. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll spit in my personal email. Ooh, let's zoom in on this, everyone. Let's do, let's do, <laughs> ah, Instagram. What have I done? Oh, yeah, we're grandma. Oh, man. Now that I have you here, fellas, Let's go hardcore uh, grams. how do you feel about asking another superlative? Sure. All right. Who do you think is the best selfie taker in the cast? Say that again. Anna Kendrick. Oh, that was quick. Ooh. Like have feel, you seen her practicing? <laughs> no. She doesn't need to practice. That's why she's the best at doing it. Good oh. answer. Good answer. <laughs> Wait, is your name Whiskey Shivers? Yes. Wow. That's a good handle. <laughs> Don't crop. Don't crop. Ah, wait, that's perfect. Yep, gotta get the right gram. Gotta get the right cropping. Up. A at. All right, we're gonna the, see your gif right here on screen. The, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the, you gotta be proud of it. Look, I'm a banjo player. I can't, <laughs> don't expect me to spell. All right, guys, you go have a great time at the premiere. Thank you so much for stopping Thanks by. Thanks for hanging. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Great meeting you. Enjoy the premiere. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome to the BuzzFeed Lounge. Oh, at the amazing. Oh, well, we're so glad to have you. Glad to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we decided to get the party started a little bit early before yeah. you go enjoy the rest of the party. Okay. Um, and we would like to play a little game of superlatives. It's sort of like senior year. Yeah, if it's you like will. graduation. Oh, awesome. well, that's great. Okay. Okay, first Should question. Oh, oh, yes. Do you want one? Why not? Yes. Okay. It's cheers. party time. Okay. Okay, so there are a lot of like chords and a bunch of different stuff on set. We trip on set all the time. Who is the biggest klutz in the cast, do you think? 
Um, I'm not sure about the for this movie, but I feel like the biggest klutz maybe in the second and pitch two was like Rebel, I think. But I think I think it was because we were asking her to do things that were where she was falling over. Yeah. And so you didn't know if it was like part of the deal or if she just was tripping up herself. I think it was part of the deal. We'll go with part of the deal. So who also was the most likely to brighten your day? Like out of the cast. Um, I, uh, I I can't get specific on this because um, there was a time when all the Bellas I had a uh, my I had a baby and they serenaded her. Um, they sang "You Are My Sunshine." All of them. When I was FaceTiming, I was on set with them. Wow. And, um, and so my daughter was just like looking in while the all like all twelve of them were just. Did you cry? Did you shed a tear? Yeah, it was a really beautiful moment. Yes, that's that's lovely. So thank you for participating. We're going to head over to the gift booth. I love it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the premiere. First off, before we get started, can we talk about this dress? Uh, Isn't it awesome? It's a two-piece. Yeah, it's Ralph Lauren. You look ready to, like, ride a motorcycle and work a carpet at the same time. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to look like a rock star. Am I pulling it off? You do. Okay, thank you. (laughs) Amazing. Thank you. Also, congrats on the movie. It's so funny. Thanks. Thank you. All right, yeah. so do you ready to take now a gift and make a little movie of your own? All right, what am I doing? Okay. So you're going to move until the oh, blue it's bar happening. Hits. It's happening. Oh, it's oh, going. Oh, 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 hey. move, move. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shimmy. Oh, yeah. oh, you and Chantel. <laughs> yes, yes, good. Oh, look at those dance moves. <laughs> All right, we got to wait for it. We're waiting with bated breath. Look at that. <laughs> it's the magic of gifts. It's the magic of animation. It never gets old. So from here, That's you can awesome. definitely like put it on your Facebook, your socials, your Instagrams, email or text it to yourself. Oh, my gosh. Can I do all the above? Or why all, not? Why uh, not? Oh, wait. Okay. So if I text it to myself, I can put it on all this other stuff. Hold right? on. Can we see these nails, too? Aren't oh they cool? Oh, what? they're like. They're chrome. They're yeah. chrome. And then for holiday times, like I put some green on there. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Hmm. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, maybe I'll just text Let's text myself. it. So while we're texting, I'm just going to go yeah. hit you with another quick fire superlative question. Are you all yeah, right with that? I'm okay. Ready. Who do you think is the best selfie taker? Um, Hannah Mae's pretty awesome because yeah. she like has like a really unique, interesting style. Uh-huh. And I feel like she gets that really sweet angle. It's all about the angle. Yeah. yeah. It's all about the angle yeah. and finding like, your Like Kendrick does like a goofball selfie. Uh, she doesn't like to. She tries to be like funny with all of her selfies. I feel, but like Haname is like, I don't know. I feel like she's she really grown into it. Yeah, like, here, she knows her angles here, and she wears things that are really structured <laughs> and yeah. So okay, what's your selfie face? We're gonna do it to this camera. Oh, okay, all right, ready? 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 Three, two, one. Selfie face. All right, do you have another one? <laughs> I mean, if it's goofy, let's okay, wait. Right, three, ready? two, one. Selfie face. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. While I'm watching that. <laughs> All right. Did you get a mocktail? Uh, I didn't get a mocktail. Uh, I mean, I put, I put that down there. <laughs> what is this? Is this beer? Is this not really? So it's a mocktail. So it's, it's not. A, it's a. Yes. It's iced tea. What is it? Little apple cider in there. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it. A little refreshing <laughs> yeah. drink before you get out in the madness. Yeah. We're here for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so while we're here, I'm going to hit you with another question. Yes. Who is most likely to break out into song? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Um. Probably a tie between Rebel and John Michael Higgins. Really? Ooh, wow. Because John Michael Higgins was an acapella, like so he, like he probably he has like a whole, you know, list of, um, you know, songs that at his disposal to pull from. But I feel like Rebel probably would, you know, I didn't I didn't witness it that much, but I would imagine that she's got it got it there. Wow, Rebel seems to be winning a lot of these superlatives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else? What What else did someone give her? They gave her best uh, selfie, most likely to take a prank. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by the of BuzzFeed course. Lounge. Of course. Thank you for talking to me. Thank oh you. God. I enjoyed this martini. I really enjoyed that. That's good times. Yeah. I love the suit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have a great time out there. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Now we have Chrissy looking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the BuzzFeed Lounge. Yes, welcome to the BuzzFeed Lounge. We're with BuzzFeed Ladylike. Yes. 
Yes, and so All this right. lounge is sort of the stop before you go out to the madness. It's the yeah. party before the party. It's it's like the calm before the storm. Yes. Yes. It, yes. It's the calm before the storm. <laughs> so it's kind of like graduation for you guys, Pitch yeah. Perfect Three. So with graduation comes senior superlatives. So we're gonna give you a few and see what you. Can I come love up with. this game. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right. So okay. a movie like this, obviously hilarious, a lot of goofy moments. Who is most likely to break character on set? Ooh, I think we're all really pretty, like, we're professional, um, but uh, Anna Camp kind of gets the giggles sometimes, and it's so infectious because she's, her laughter is, like, amazing, and so then it spreads with all of us. And I'm sure it lightens the mood. I'm sure it's yeah, like great Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. It's so much fun. <laughs> awesome. So you guys seem like you would be pretty close in real life. So, but I'm sure there's some jokesters and people yeah. who kind of like to pull pranks. Who's the most likely to pull a prank? Oh, gosh. I mean, I, kind of I did, I think. Um, what was the prank? Uh, well, we have kind of a, a day where we uh, do our hair and our makeup. It's like a test kind of situation. And so I pretended that they dyed my hair and I wear a wig. Hi! Oh, my gosh. I was, like, telling Hello. you that I have to join you, but I didn't yes. want to interrupt you. Join me! Hi, wow. <laughs> we have Brittany Hi. Snow. Hi. Hi. How are you? You look Good. gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Okay. I was telling when I like pranked you guys that I changed my hair color and I said that they, they dyed it and then I wore a hat, remember? And I was like crying. <laughs> okay. Yes. That okay. was like a super good prank, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of weird things, so I'm not sure. It's, yeah, but I don't Rebel, know. Rebel also pranked us on, on uh, April Fool's and she like pretended to fall down the stairs and like, oh yeah. Gosh. And that was like That's a really intense. Prank. That's terrifying. I Danny was like so nervous. Anyway, yeah. It takes a lot of skill to actually fake falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like on the ground and had like fake blood coming out of her leg. Oh, she and, was like, like, wow. Especially from Rebel, like you never know. She can do anything and it would be weird. And there's a lot of things that Rebel does that you were like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, she, of course you must she try. fall. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, it seems like y'all had so much fun on set. Mm -hmm. So thanks for hanging out. You're actually yes. going to head over to the gift booth and make oh. some cool gifts. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Head on over. So, so over here, so first off, let me say, you two look like goddesses. So we're going to take a little gift booth. Uh, but before we get started, someone actually voted you most likely to pull out pictures of your pet on set. Can we talk about that a little bit? You have a little puppy? She's not a puppy anymore, but um, she's a dog. Yeah, Billy. She just got diagnosed with diabetes, actually. Oh, what? It's even more sad. What kind of puppy? Well... Uh, she's eight now, but she's a terrier mutt. I rescued her, but um, she's the cutest little thing ever. Now she has diabetes. Yeah, okay. Puppy diabetes. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a little giphy here. Chantal's going to tell you how the giphy works. Okay, so we're going to keep moving until this blue bar stops. It's a long time, so get your dance moves ready. Ready, ladies? <laughs> Don't think, just All right. do. And we're going. Three, two, one. So oh, yes. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, it keeps going. Wow. Hello. Oh, we're walking. It doesn't oh. stop. It wow. just doesn't stop. Whoa. This, this is going to be fierce. You have the best gift so far, ladies. Yes. Look Hands at that. Down. Use oh the deck. Goodness. Wait. Whoa. Wait. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. This is incredible. Yeah. Can we talk about the secret flower for a minute? Is it attached here? It's not attached forever. Uh, it, it comes out, but... Oh, well, that's good. You know, it's not spring forever. <laughs> yeah, cool. So now you guys can share this to wherever you want to. You can even just text it to yourself, share it afterwards. I want everyone to have my phone number. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it out there. Twitter? Twitter? User, oh man, you gotta go. You know my password. I have. Yeah, you got. DMs very different you can't than the see. Um, one premiere where we had we two people there. And yeah, like that's maybe right. A couple there we cameras. go. Now there's. Get yeah, this is it. This is a big Why am I doing premiere. this? I'm not Brittany. Ugh. Yeah, it's like a marathon, really. Yeah, Just think of awesome. how fun I mean, it's gonna like, be when you have this. I'm, I know, I'm and I'm not gonna it. share it with her. <laughs> because it's a marathon. Let's talk about your shoes. Oh no. These shoes right now. Wait, delete, delete. Those look amazing. Com, not dot all. Not actually. It's, it's and then what do I do? Okay. Before. I've had worse. Nice. I've had worse. Oh, yeah. Um, so while I've got you Hi, here, let me t hit you with another oh. superlative. That's okay. We just took a gift <laughs> together. Who do you think is the most likely to <laughs> like have the best selfie of the cast? Ooh, camp. Camp selfies a lot. Camp selfies a lot. Yeah, and it's always peace signs and 
We're actually going to take a little get look at your gift right now because it's so fierce. Check it out, everyone. Look at that walk. Such moves. I mean... <laughs> don't even. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, let's just keep looking at that. I don't like to, don't like to make many gifts of myself, so that's probably why it's a little weird. So you wouldn't say you're the biggest selfie taker on... No. no. <laughs> I find it very odd in general, but... Hats off to people who like it. Yeah. Definitely. How about you, Krista? Who do you think is the biggest selfie taker of the cast? Oh, I mean, Anna Camp is. Um, I mean, she's gorgeous. Do it, do it, girl. Um, Rebel is the one who's more, more likely to, like, take video. Yeah, Hi, live guys. Video. Hello, I'm in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, on three, we're going to do our own little selfie face to camera. Like, what is your go-to selfie face? Ready? Um, three, okay. two. One and go. That was amazing, gals. That's a duck. That's a duck that's <laughs> never goes confused. Old. You know what I mean? Like that's a good face. It happens. All right, well, ladies, thank you so much. You guys have a great time. We're gonna actually thank come you. Out this we way. can head out this way. Oh, we're going this way. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much thank for you. coming by. You guys are amazing. Look who we oh have here. God. Hello. Welcome Hi. to the Buzzfeed Lounge. Yeah. Congratulations yes. on the movie. Thank you. I'm loving this. Loving oh, this. loving this. Yes. And I love look. The bold lip, I'm always here for it. Absolutely. Awesome. You guys so, excited? Yeah, we're, we're so pumped. excited. Are you excited? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't stop staring at your lashes. I love them so much. Yeah, so so this is kind of like graduation. Yeah, and yeah, with like yeah, yeah, yeah. And with senior year comes like yeah. superlatives and that kind of thing. Absolutely. So we're gonna ask you a few superlative questions Ooh. to see what you come up with. Okay. Jen, you want to hit her first? Yeah, all right. So a movie like this, very funny, very goofy. Um, it's amazing. Um, who is most likely to break character on set? That's a hard one. We're all pretty profesh. Who will break character the most? Maybe... I don't know. Let's come back to that one. Gotta okay. think about it. All right, one more quick one. I know. Hard. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure yeah, I'm sure it's definitely really hard. So one more question. Who's the most likely to brighten your day? Oh, let's see. Um, Kelly Jackal. Oh, she's so sweet. So sweet. Well the thanks sweetest. for hanging out. Of course. We're gonna throw it to Lindsay and Christian now. Take it away. Hey. Awesome. Hi, guys. We are here with Kelly. Hello. Looking stunning. Oh, I'm great. Thank you. you look so great. So this movie is so big, this entire franchise. What is it about it that you think people just identify with so much? Well, I think there's just a whole range of characters and personalities and experiences that somehow, no matter which character it is, whether it's small or one of the leads, that you can identify with somebody and you can identify with the friendships involved as well. So there's just a lot to grab from and, and yeah, I think it's pretty relatable in a lot of ways. Yeah. Your character, Jessica, has been a Bella since day one. She has. She's experienced so much. She what has. has been the best uh, co-star or celebrity who has come on to the Pitch Perfect uh, stage? You know what? John Lithgow is John Lithgow. possibly the loveliest human being I've ever met. Truly, like, if he didn't know your name, he would ask you until he did. He wouldn't just pretend to know your name. I mean, that's, that's kind of unusual, I feel like, in this business. Yeah, and and every can... day before set, before we started shooting, he would give everybody individual hugs and make sure that he had a moment with everybody. It was so sweet. And he's in this movie. He he's is. He's so great in it. He is. So I mean, he's just the consummate professional, you know. So all right, so you have been with this franchise for a while. What is your all-time favorite memory looking back? Oh, you want to uh, do that? You got it. I Too mean, many, it's like I'm sure. the question of the hour. So what what is it? You have to have one that sticks out. Uh, I would have to say moments that we've shared together. I can't choose one. I'm sorry. That's fine. But in general, That's fine. moments that we've shared together off camera where we get emotional and start crying and telling each other how much we mean to each other and how this is a sisterhood for life and uh, taking one thing away from this, I'll take a lot away from this, but it, the sisters that I have for life mean everything to me. It's really, really special. So awesome, so awesome. Congratulations. It's an amazing movie. Everyone got to see it. It's so good. Um, I hope so. I hope everyone likes it. So good. Awesome. Have fun tonight. Thank you. So you too. So, so good. Oh, yeah. gosh. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah. thank you. Yeah. And we will be right back after this. Perfect.
Oh, yep, go ahead, grab one of these. I think you may be. Hi, welcome to the Lady Lag BuzzFeed Hello. Lab. Hi, I feel like you probably couldn't hear any of that, but I was being really funny. Yeah, well, we'll get it back. We'll subtitle that in post. Thanks, guys. You're the best. <laughs> we got you. So we're going to hit you with some superlatives. And so you tell us. It's just a little mocktail. It's a mocktail? Mm-hmm. Thanks <laughs> for nothing, BuzzFeed. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, but before we go, after, we're going to get some superlatives going on. We're going to have Let's a fun do it. there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who's the most likely of all the cast to have a picture of their pet on their phone? Pet? Probably Brittany. Brittany? Billy is famous. She does a Billy voice. She has Billy on her phone. It's the cutest dog you've ever seen in your life. What's the Billy voice like? Can we hear that? It's adorable. We keep telling her she needs to do it in a cartoon or something. I, <laughs> I can't do it. You should ask Brittany to do it. Dang, we just saw her. We oh. just saw her. We've heard a lot about Billy, though. Yeah. <laughs> so there's obviously a lot of singing in this movie. What? I know, right? It's crazy. Oh, that's right. Who's the most likely to break out into song? Ooh, um, probably Esther Dean. I mean, she doesn't do it often. She kind of does it when she doesn't notice that she's doing it. And the second that we, like, are listening, she gets self-conscious because she's the best singer on the face of the planet. But she's Do you just, like, instantly harmonize with her when that happens? No, I sit back and listen and try not <laughs> to mess it up. Try to keep it going. That's <laughs> awesome. So we're an all-girl group, and we know that your girlfriends can give you a lot of good vibes. So who's the most likely to brighten your day? Brighten my day. Um, Chrissy Fit. She's this, like mm. the sweetest, sunniest person, and she's so dark and dry in these movies, so it's really funny. It's a really <laughs> funny contrast. Last question for you. Who takes the best selfie? The best selfie? Rebel takes a good selfie. We've yeah. been hearing that. Yeah. We've been hearing that her yeah. selfie game. She um, was complaining the other week about Selfie Neck because she's been promoting the movie all over the world, and she was saying, like, it's so hard because I've got selfie neck. What is selfie neck? Really bad for her. When you go and take pictures with fans and, you know, you get selfie <laughs> neck. And I was like, it's so hard being Rebel Wilson. <laughs> so speaking of photos, we're going to send you over here. We have a little gift booth going. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, so, so Freddie and Jen are going to take it away. Hello, Anna. You look beautiful. You look Thank you so Thank much. You. We're going to do some fun gifts here. Oh. So let's hop in frame. Oh, God. Yeah. All right, so on look the count of three. Look great. We'll do a solo one. Do a solo one. This is great. Is that it? I love it. Yeah. I think that's it. Let's see how it turns out. It's going to be a lot of you. A lot of you. That's amazing. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah. yeah. Do you love it? I mean, it's my first time gifting myself. Oh, so. really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you okay. Want to do another one? No, that's great. This is that's great. it. That's I the one. Do do okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you don't want another a mocktail? You don't want to finish your mocktail? No, I don't want another mocktail. You guys got any booze around here? Come on. It's okay. Honestly, well, the girls are out of college. It's it's on brand. Let's let's get this party started. You're right. You're right. All, All right, right well, let's, let's get the party started. Yeah, yeah, let's head out to the red carpet. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Up next at the BuzzFeed Lounge, we've got Ruby Rose. Hi. Hi, welcome to the BuzzFeed Lounge for BuzzFeed Ladylike. Hello, welcome, welcome. Look at this dress. <laughs> Girl, it's amazing. So we're going to hit you with a couple of fun cast superlatives. Mm -hmm. I love that game. I hate that word. You hate the word superlatives? I can just never say it. I love playing it, but I. how many times have you guys had to say that tonight? Superlatives. Superlatives. I would, se seven? Um, eight yeah, times? Seven will be more. And you'll continue to do that. Yeah, exactly. I really admire you for that courage. Thank yeah, you so much. I try much. to just hit the consonants. Superlative. <laughs> and as, I get, as you get like more tired, do you not start just being like superlative? Or is that just me? <laughs> it sounds good when you like mumble it a little bit. Yeah. So, Chantel, do you want to hit us off with a question? Yeah, so first question. Who is the most likely to show you a photo of their pet? Oh. I feel like I did that a lot, like all Ooh. the time, because I have three little puppies. Uh -huh. So I'm like always showing everyone all the puppies, and like, we've seen this one. I'm like, but what about this one? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else's pets that I would like. I feel like a lot of the cast have really cute dogs, like Brittany. Um, everyone. I, I feel like I saw most people's pets. Someone brought a pet. There was an actual pet there, <gasps> but I don't remember which one. I know it was a dog, though. 
Yeah. What are your dog's names? I need to know for my personal reasons. I need to know. I have Chance, who is in a wheelchair. I have Rue, uh, and I have Charlie, who has a broken jaw. So they're all rescues, and they're all like adorably ugly. Oh, that's so wonderful. Thank you, Ruby, for joining us today. We're going to go to Christian and Lindsay over on the red carpet. Thanks, ladies. We're here with John. How, how exciting is this? There's so many fans. There's fans surrounding us. The energy is absolutely electric. I know. I could barely fit them in my car, but here they are. You know, we I put a few in the trunk. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, that works. That works. Yeah. So your character, John. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know, well I, named. there's a story there, actually. Oh, the, yeah. the reason my character's named John is because we didn't have a name for my character in the first... I'm not... We didn't. So we Elizabeth Banks and I are up there. We're doing our scene, and... Uh, we're just we're just talking and she turns to me I actually go by Michael in real life so it's even crazier she turns to me and she says hey uh, what do I call you and I was like there was no name in the in the script there's no it's nothing it was all improv so she and, we're, and then she just said John because she knew it was partly my name and then she started calling me John and then the and then the producers were like do we have to reshoot the whole thing because we didn't we we didn't have a name and the producers like if we use John Smith we know it's legal no one's going to fire no one's going to sue us so my name in the picture you'll see it in the credits John Smith and there we go it's because we were literally filming and we didn't know what my name was quite the original name i know so speaking of your character John yes. he's he's been quite He's been part of the infamous duo of Gail and John yes, throughout these whole movies. Yes. Um, what are you excited for the fans to see with those characters? Are they still up to their same old uh, antics in this movie? Yeah, we have a, a, a very bad idea in this movie that uh, Gail and I are going to go and become documentarians like this fine gentleman here. And um, it's a terrible idea because, A, we don't know anything about making a documentary, and B, we don't know anything about making a documentary. So uh, it, it starts bad and it gets worse from there. So yeah. So great, so great. Well, thank wait. you so thank much. You so much Congrats Sean. on the movie, it's so awesome. We're gonna thank head back you. to the BuzzFeed Lounge right yeah. now. <laughs> we are here at the BuzzFeed Lounge, we're BuzzFeed Ladylike, and we're with Anna. Hello, Anna. Hi, Hi Anna. How's it going? <laughs> Good. So we have some quick fire superlative questions, cast superlative questions. Chantal, do you wanna lead us off? Yes. So you all are very funny ladies. Who is the most likely to pull a prank on set? Um, I would have to say Rebel Wilson would definitely mm -hmm. be the person because she did it on April Fool's and we all thought she had broken her leg. <laughs> were you terrified? Lot. Terrified. I think she actually made like the director cry because <gasps> we were so scared that she had really fallen and hurt herself. So definitely Rebel Wilson. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, wow. It gives a new meaning to break a leg. It really <laughs> does. So we're an all-girl group on BuzzFeed. We know that your girl group can give you good vibes. Who's most likely to brighten your day? Oh, my gosh. I have to say Brittany Snow. She's just the best. She just makes me feel so happy every time I see her. She gives the best advice. Um, she's one of my best friends, and she definitely brightens any day that I get to see her. You said she gives good advice? She does give good advice. Yes, definitely. What's some good advice she gave you? Oh, oh my gosh. Um, uh, well, she told me to, like marry my husband <laughs> she liked him a lot so that's good and among like many other things awesome awesome you have another question Shanti one more question for you so who is the most likely to break out into song the most likely that would have to be a tie oh. I think between Haley and Esther um, they both have incredible voices obviously like Haley is this fantastic pop star Esther is an amazing songwriter with like this gorgeous voice and they would definitely be singing like in between in between takes and like while we were goofing around so I enjoyed all of it that sounds amazing yeah so we're gonna actually guide you over here to take a little gift with our friends Fred and Jen how are you? You oh, too. You, so you, look you look beautiful. beautiful. Let's take a quick gif, shall okay. we? All right, on the count of three. Yeah, let's um, let's be Charlie's Angels. Okay. Oh, okay. Until the blue thing starts moving, so you should. Oh, keep I can keep moving. It. Yeah, keep doing whatever you want. You're doing great. This is going to be Adorable. amazing. Okay. And we All get right. to do it over if it sucks, right? Yeah, we it can looks do it great. Over. Thank you so much. We're going to head back to our BuzzFeed stage. Awesome. Yes. Enjoy the premiere. Perfect. Congratulations. All right, so we have the woman of the hour here, yes. Trish, the director of the whole freaking Ooh. thing. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. So, with this movie, you have a hilarious cast. It, it, I mean, they're cr crazy, crazy. How much improv was there? Were they allowed to improv? Did you have to reel them in sometimes? <laughs> Tell us about that. <laughs> I feel like, you know, every movie is different, every project different. With this one, these people know their characters so well, inside and out. They're so smart, so funny. 
and it was best to just let her rip and let them go because some of the funniest best stuff comes when they would just play with each other and just go so just like turn the camera on and like I'll call cut in a couple hours like that's how it was yeah just let it roll <laughs> right yeah so what are you looking forward to most for the fans to see in this movie I mean there's so many rememberable scenes what are you most excited for the fans to see I mean I think the I hope the fans are going to get the music they want, the comedy they want. My, what I'm most excited about is the friendship, because I think we really shoved that forward as the sort of most important part of this movie. So much happens. They go through so much in this film, but at the root of it all is their friendship, their support for one another, their connections to each other. I think that's what brought people to this franchise in the first place, and I just want it to be about like lady power, loving each other, supporting each other, and moving ahead. Yeah. So Christian and I got to see the film. Yes. It was really so glad you like it. Really, really great. What was your favorite performance number of the whole thing? Do you have one that sticks out in particular that you could kind of get people excited? For? I mean, I'm not, I don't want to do any spoiling, yes. so I'm going to be very careful. But the last musical number in the whole movie is my favorite. And if I say much more than that, I feel like it'll give it away. But I feel like once people see the movie, I hope that that touches them in their heart places. Oh, yeah. I hope it's like a big brownie Sunday for their eyeballs and ear holes. <laughs> yeah, no, nope, that makes sense. Okay, I mean, that's okay. What it I'm was glad for you us. got that. I'm glad you <laughs> That is the quote of the year. Well, thank you so much. It was so great meeting you, and congratulations. Thank yes. you, guys. Thank yeah. you all out there, you so fans. Much. You did it. We're going to head it back to Tiffany. Perfect. Thank you. So great. So It's hilarious. All right. You too. Hello, hello, you guys. This carpet is craziness, as you've been seeing. If you guys have been watching with us, or if you're just joining us, this is the world premiere of Pitch Perfect 3. We just had the director on here. So excited to hear her take on the film. And, you know, just getting to work with all of these incredible actresses. What I love so much about this movie and what makes me such a pitch fan um, is that I love that it's this strong group of women that all come together. They're all so different. And even throughout interviews, I've heard some of the actresses talk about this, where initially they're like, we are all so different. And somehow the chemistry is just magic when you get them all together on screen. Um, we are here in Hollywood. All of the actors are coming out tonight for the big world premiere. They're walking the carpet. They're talking to us here. You guys, while you're at home, make sure you are using that hashtag pitch perfect premiere. We want to hear about some of your favorite moments from the carpet. If you've seen somebody that you really like or if you can't wait to see somebody walk onto the carpet, let us know and send us your photos because you never know who could retweet them. You never know. You could end up being in that Pitch Perfect feed. I don't know. Um, so make sure you guys are sending those photos in. And you guys, if you can't be here with us, that's the next best thing to do. But we have so many fans here. There, <laughs> there's fans on this side. There's like four or five different fan pits all throughout the carpet where they're getting to talk to some of their favorite actors. It's such a cool night here. And I want to make sure that you guys don't feel left out. I want you to feel just as special as everybody here tonight. So we've got a very special clip for you. Check this out. Ah. So right now, you guys are seeing some gifts from the lounge. All of our actors, everybody coming onto the carpet is going into the BuzzFeed lounge, getting their giphy on. Maybe we'll get a little gif off, who knows? They look like they're having a lot of fun in there and it makes me a little jealous. I think at some point I'm gonna have to make my way down there and do a little gif of my own. I love it so much. The ladies from Ladylike are hanging out in there. Oh, of course we've got Anna Kendrick. And right now we are gonna toss it over to Christian and Lindsay for the next interview. Awesome, hello guys, we have Troy here, how are you? I am doing great, awesome. so happy to be here. Awesome, yeah. awesome, this movie. All right, so you worked with great actresses in this film, you worked I did. with? I did. You did, Anna, Rebel, Brittany. The what? other Anna, <laughs> yeah. the other one. Haley, everybody, yeah. What was that like? They are all so funny. Yeah. How is that? It was, it was like a party. You know, like every day was just, you never know what you were gonna get from either one of them. Uh, I'd say that like, it was a lot for me to take in at first, just to be able to digest like being there with them. At first, you know, before this, I was a fan. A week later, I'm in the movie with them. Now I'm like a coworker. And it was just incredible to see them. And they're all extremely talented, for sure, yeah. 
Yeah. Now, in a movie that's centered around such strong, powerful women, how was it coming in as a man? Did they all kind of accept you? Were there a little bit of joking you know, going around you know before you funny. started? Uh, so my first day on set, it was kind of like the girls were over in their own corner. Yeah. And I was kind of over here in my corner. And Chrissy Fit came up to me and kind of introduced me to everybody. And the littlest one, right? Yeah. Brought me over to the rest of the girls. And they were all very friendly, very warm. Yeah. That's it was so great. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It was thank so, so great. Yeah, the so movie's great awesome. You. Have a great night. And we'll yeah. head back to the BuzzFeed Lounge. Yeah, back to you, ladies. Hello. Next up on the BuzzFeed Lounge, we have Step this way. boss lady, Miss Elizabeth Banks. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us. Fancy lounge tent. Mm -hmm. Lounge tent. We are BuzzFeed Ladylike, and we're going to hit it off with a couple cast superlatives. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Superlatives? Yes. Superlatives, yep. Okay. We're going back to school for this one. Big word, big word. All right. All right. So the entire cast is made of uh, awesome ladies. Who's the most likely to brighten your day? Kelly. Kelly Dinkle, for sure. She's just a ray of sunshine at all times. Awesome. And then one last question for you, Ms. Banks. Um, we're all foodies. We love food. We're actually quite starving. Mm -hmm. Who's the biggest foodie on your set? Ooh, um, biggest foodie. I feel like Esther Dean, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to hit her up with that question when she comes. Right now, we're going to hit it off to the acapella set down at the carpet. Lounge. We have Shelly Regner. Hi, Hi Shelly. Shelly. Hello, ladies. You look I'll, amazing. Thank you. I would think we all look pretty beautiful tonight. <laughs> we try. We try hard, girl. <laughs> so we here at BuzzFeed, Lady Like, have a couple mm -hmm. of cast superlatives for you. Oh, I love it. I can't wait. <laughs> all right, Chantel, hit us off. Okay, so we've been hearing that Rebel is a big prankster. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most likely to fall for her pranks? Oh, you know, I think... Probably either Kelly or Chrissy, because they're Ooh. so tender-hearted and they're always there willing to help that I think it would be an immediate reaction to help anything that's going wrong. So I don't think it would even register that this might be a joke. So I would say <laughs> Kelly or Chrissy. Got it. All right, last question. We're an all-girl group. We know that girl groups can make you feel good inside. Yes. Who <laughs> is the most, well, who is going to brighten your day the most? Oh, you know, my fans know this, and my family knows this, and all my friends know this. My, who brightens my day? If it's going to be a famous person that I don't know, Beyonce. <laughs> Always. How about in the cast? In the cast, definitely. Let's see. Oh, gosh. I mean, all of them. I really, it's hard to pick. We've, we've all become such good friends over the last six years. But, of course, Rebel, with all her jokes and pranks, it's not, 
it's you know hard not to laugh and lift up your day with that. So, that but sense. everybody brings us so much joy in this. <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy the red carpet. And we're going to go to Christian and Lindsay down at the red carpet. Okay. Awesome. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling tonight? I mean, this is so crazy. We were just talking about how this premiere, Yeah. I feel like each premiere it's gotten bigger and bigger and this is definitely the biggest one so far. Yes. How does it feel? We're surrounded by so many fans. I mean, it's it's an honor, honestly, but like, it's so exciting. The energy is amazing. It's like schizophrenic hearing your name shouted everywhere. Oh, totally. And this particular carpet is an actual maze. So <laughs> I think it's a little amped up because they made it more complicated. But last time it was like this great big stage and everything. Thing, and now it's just like, no, we're going to put you through an actual... Right. <laughs> right. And oh, that's crazy. Your character, how has it grown, would you say, in this sequel, or I guess the third? How? What would you say is different? Well, we've all had to grow up a little bit, I would have to say. So yes. I would say that you see a drastic right. change with Stacy. That is all I will say. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Drastic change. Sense. That's okay. all I can say until you watch it. Perfect. Until you watch it. I love it. I love it. And then we have to point out, okay, your nails with your dress, she just showed me the detail on this. Is oh, look at a, those. Look at that. <laughs> it is insane. That was some good. It's all in the details. You know what? It is. It's all in details, always. I, I didn't want to be boring and just have nude, just on the toes, of course. But so so the Vietnamese can... They can do it. That's so. It's they beautiful. Amazing. Actually, they handled it. They handled it in 45 minutes. So, yeah. Thank you. Well, the movie is so amazing. Thank you so much, and have fun tonight. Thank you so much. Yes. Nice thank you for you stopping guys. by. Absolutely. Yes. Have a great rest of your evening. Yes. Have fun tonight. All See you right. at the party. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Hands down. Oh, we will. Hands down. We'll have a drink. See you on Love the dance floor. Okay, bye. Bye. And we'll be right back after this. All right, you guys, we have the Miss Rebel Wilson Rebel herself. Wilson we have her. Hi, guys. Yes. Yes. Hi. Hello. It's so great to be here. <laughs> World premiere of Pitch Perfect 3. Like, who would have thought it? Right? Yeah. So exciting. Yeah, when we shot the first movie, I was like, you know, like, I think I'd really like this film. <laughs> and now, like, suddenly all these people all over the world have loved it, which is so fantastic. Right. Yeah. It's so crazy. it's been a couple years since we last saw your character, Fat mm -hmm. Amy. Can you catch us up with where she's at in this movie? The Fat Amy is actually on the streets of New York um, performing her own one-woman self-devised show called Fat Amy Winehouse, um, which I think is a perfect thing right. for Fat Amy to be doing. I would watch that yeah. 100%. Um, and the great thing about Pitch 3 is that you find out a bit of the origin story of Fat Amy and why she was in Barton University in the first place. Yeah. All right. We got lucky and got to see the movie, and without any spoilers, you have a stunt scene. Tell me a little bit about that action kind of thing that you've got going on. Uh, I guess a lot of people don't know I have a bit of a background in martial arts. What? So, yes. <laughs> yeah, Shotokan Karate. Whoa. Guys, Which I'm level? orange belt. Oh. That's like the third lowest belt. So, um... <laughs> Uh, we wouldn't have known that. We I, acted like that was the highest oh, belt. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, right, yeah, it is the lowest belt. Um, but, uh, no, it's the third lowest. Uh, but <laughs> I, I definitely took some of my skills from my martial arts days and put them into this film, which I, I really like. I'm so glad that Fat Amy's uh, storyline took that kind of action hero turn in this one. Yeah, it's, it's so, yeah. so exciting. Um, what drives these movies are the strong female leads. And I feel like yeah. right now, more than ever, that's so needed.
minded. What has it been like starring in not just one, two, but three movies with all these great, amazing actors? Yeah, I mean, I love all the girls and I would just keep making these movies forever if they'll let us. So will they let us? Who knows? We'll see how this one goes. Um, but yeah, it's really rare to be in an ensemble with 10 other girls and um, they're, they're all just, they're, we're so different and come from very different backgrounds. Like myself and Anna Kendrick are literally born like at very opposite ends of the world and yet yeah. like we all come together in the Pitch Perfect movies and, and, and make magic without singing, which yeah. is really good. And would you say when you guys all get back together, is it tr like a true sisterhood bond? Would you say like it's just right where you left off? Yeah, yeah, it is because we're such busy ladies because uh, like for one of the reasons because of the success of Pitch Perfect that um, we're all in different parts of the world all the time. And so the great thing when they say, oh, we're going to do another movie is we're like, yes, we get to spend all day every day with each other and we have an excuse for it. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're so great. Have so much fun tonight. You look phenomenal. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thanks. You know, tried to class it up for the world premiere. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And have, have fun. Have a great evening. Yeah. so great to you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we're going to throw it back to Tiffany. Tiffany, over to you. Hello, hello, you guys. We are here in Hollywood for the premiere of Pitch Perfect 3. We just chatted with Rebel Wilson. I love her so much, Fat Amy. I love Fat Amy Winehouse even more. I cannot wait for everybody to see this movie and see all of the awesomeness that Rebel Wilson brings to this movie. I'm just going to say, she could be my next favorite action hero. And I'm just going to leave it at that. What's this situation? It is me. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> this is live, you guys. You never know what's going to happen. I'm good, Hart. Over the show. How you doing? All right. So, so yeah. So yeah. you guys might recognize this guy. He is part of the movie as well. How you doing, guy? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. My name's not Guy. What? What's your name? Guy. Nah. <laughs> so, name? Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. I'm Guy. <laughs> this is really weird. Isn't it? <laughs> what does it feel like for you to be on the carpet tonight? I, I, it's completely unorthodox. I, I've never experienced kind of this. You know, amount of pandemonium. I know full well that it's not for me in any way. It's it's really for the lovely ladies of the film. I'm just very flattered to be part of the franchise. I have to talk about that too because obviously this is a film that there's so many strong, awesome women in it. What was it like for you the first day walking onto set? Were you like, I need to bring it with a song. I got to be ready. Firstly, <laughs> I would never bring it with a song. That would be... I, I, it's pitch I, perfect. I know, but I'd probably be ostracized from the film if I did sign, because I have a terrible voice. So why would I do that? I well, now you, to them. you just opened the door, so I feel like we All need right. to hear a little something. I just sang Talking Heads over there. I don't think it's the generation of, of this film, but that's pretty much all I know. Elvis Presley, uh, David Bowie, uh, or like Some rappers good ones. from the 80s. That's all I know. <laughs> Biggie Smalls. Those are all good ones, yeah. all good ones, for sure. Dreams, we got ways and means. It's the scene in the up on the screen. No, all right, all right. I was, go I was stop going there. with it. Stop there. I was going with it for you. But what is it about these fans just coming out tonight? Because obviously, they've been lining the streets. They're lining the carpet tonight. What does it feel like for you coming onto the carpet, being a new member of the Pitch Perfect family? Um, it, it's really, like I say, like it's kind of overwhelming in a way. I'm incredibly gracious with it. I'm very flattered. I'm, I'm surprised that people are even calling my names in places because I don't know how they, you know, who I am or even how you know who I am. I mean, I saw my name underneath <laughs> on, the, on the thing under here and I was like, how do you know that already? That was pretty impressive. It's my job to know that Which stuff. Is, that was very good. <laughs> um, but no, I, as I say, I'm flattered and gracious and it's amazing to be part of this and all the, all the females and uh, it's a female ensemble, which I think is wonderful and I wish every film could be that. And, and they were so welcoming, they were so lovely, they were so just in, endearing in every single way and as a you know, new character, new, or just a human being coming into this film in the third installment, they were very welcoming and I'll never forget that. Love that. And just one last question, which I have to ask because sure. everyone here is a fan of the film and okay. I wish we get to watch it on the big screen, okay. but what is it like being there while they're shooting some of those big numbers? That's a good question. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I didn't know too much about the film when I first got it and then I watched both of them and I loved it. And, and when I turned up, there were some days where 
because my character is uh, a music manager who's kind of talent scouting uh, uh, Anna's character because I see that she has some talent, maybe to bring her, sign her up as a music business. Oh, we're getting wound up. So I'm going to tell you very quickly. All right, so basically. Guys, this is live. This is what happens. <laughs> I see her from afar. And because I see her from afar in a lot of the shots, I would turn up on the days that these girls were performing. And when they were performing, it was incredible. It was like watching a live concert every single time. And they were, they're good in real life as well. This is not just like film magic. They're all really good. And I'm, I'm awful. <laughs> Well, I feel like we're going to be waiting with bated breath to see a clip on Instagram, Twitter, somewhere oh, yeah. of you rapping and singing more. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Social media, so you'll never find me. Maybe you'll find <laughs> it on mine. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> he thought he liked me. You still do. You still do. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank you, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Easy. You know, it's oh, live. That's what you got to do. No, cut, yeah. <laughs> you guys, again, this is live. This is totally live. You never know what's going to happen. I feel like I'm a part of the movie just for getting to hang out with you right now. Hey, listen, you're just part of the movie as I am part of this movie, to be quite frank with you. I have no clue what I'm doing here. We're going to leave it at that. All right, you guys, we're going to toss it over to the BuzzFeed Lounge. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. We're here with Esther Dean, who Hello. of course plays Cynthia. So excited to have you. You look so stunning. Thank you. So I decided to be my sparkly self today. Yes, it's amazing. Your character is so important to this franchise, not only as a woman of color, but yeah. also as an out and proud lesbian. Yeah. How well, I'm not an out and proud lesbian. I want to be an out and proud lesbian, but no, I haven't took that step yet. <laughs> yes, but no, I love how they, they make sure that we're, it's a diversity, is yeah. making sure everybody gets a, t a note. Yeah. Pitch perfect. Yeah, and do you get a lot of fan love, you know, for... I get a lot of fan love. I think the whole movie gets a lot of fan love. Yeah. It's just, like, amazing how it's turning it to be like this. This is a trilogy. Right. It's a trilogy. It's so, so this, obviously, being the third of the trilogy, what are you most excited for fans to see with this one? How is it different? You know what? I'd like to see that how far we grew. You know, the Bellas have grown more together as friendships, more together as dancing, and more together as singing. We, you know, in the beginning, we were trying to get it together but now we really, really got it together. So the fans are going to be excited. Yes. And now I know this, yes. but I'm not sure how many other people do, but you've, you're responsible for some of the biggest pop hits in the past decade. Yes. Super bass, just to name one. Yes. So with your musical background, what has been your favorite number throughout these movies? Oh, my favorite is um, Toxic, because I love Toxic. And um, I also love Cheap Thrills. I love performing that. And it's just a lot of songs that we got to sing that just is going to stay with me forever. Not, not only is it number one songs anyway, but, you know, we sung it in the movie. Oh, 100%. Yes. What, what are the rehearsals like for those performances? How long do they usually take? The rehearsals is like, if it's a three-month run, but it's most of a month and a half, like learning the music and the dancing. So it's a... It's a task. So, oh, so it's yeah, good stuff. It's so awesome. Awesome. That is so amazing. Aka awesome. Aka awesome. amazing. There we go. Exactly. Yes. Aka awesome. You, yes. Do a lot of fans come up to you and just say Aka blank all the time? You know what? I think they always try to figure out, am I Cynthia Rose? they like, oh my God, are you Cynthia Rose? I don't want to ask you that. I'm like, yes, I'm Cynthia Rose. So, yes. So we can take a selfie. Yes. yes, yes. We can always take a selfie. Anybody who sees me, we can always take a selfie. This being the last of the trilogy, where do you see your character going after? after this, in maybe, say, five years. Where do you think she's at? In five years, I would like to see the new Bellas. I'd like to see who they put in for the new Bellas, or I would love to be a counselor for the Bellas. Just, you know, keep up the, be you know, the Bella love. It's always Bellas for life for me, so. Yes. Awesome. awesome. Well, thank you, Esther, so much. We are going to go back to the acapella group, but um, thank you. Have so much fun today. Yes, thank you so nice. much. So thank you. <laughs> 
most wonderful time. Yes, the most wonderful time. Yes, the most wonderful time of the All right, you guys, this night has been so crazy, so much fun. It's live. You never know where someone's going to show up for an interview when I'm just standing here hanging out with you guys. We had Guy over here. Of course, we got Rebel Wilson. We got the director, Trish, of the film. This night has been so much fun. The fans are still going crazy. There's still people coming onto this carpet. It's one of my favorite things about getting to attend some of these premieres is that you get to see the craziness that happens on these carpets. And you guys are all going to get to see the craziness that they're going to be seeing in the Dolby Theater on the 22nd. I know all my pitches are going to be going to see it in the theaters. Yeah! I told you I was going to sing a little bit. That was a little bit of singing that I did for you guys. So I hope that you guys have been having fun with us. We want to see what you guys have been up to as you've been watching with us. Make sure you're using that hashtag Pitch Perfect Premiere. We want to see all that good stuff. If you guys are singing, if you're making stuff up, if you're rapping like Guy was doing, you know, we want to see that too. But there's been so much great stuff, and it wouldn't be a Pitch Perfect premiere without tonight the BuzzFeed Lounge. So I'm going to toss it over to Lady Like to see what they're doing in there right now. What's up, ladies? Hey, hey Tiffany. Tiffany. Hey. Thanks so much for having us. It's been a great time with all these boss so women. So much fun. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And just have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much. Back to you, Tiffany. Great night. Good night. All right, you guys, this night has been so much fun. We got to talk to the cast. We got to talk to the Bellas, the director. I, I am such a huge fan of this franchise. Of course, I'm going to be going in to check out the movie again. And I'm going to be walking out singing some of those songs that I know all of you will be singing when you see Pitch Perfect 3 on December 22nd. Make sure you guys head to theaters, get all of your pitches, your Bellas. Go to the theater, maybe have a sing-along, because that's what I do with my girlfriends. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Smith. Thank you guys all so much for joining us. Make sure you keep using that hashtag, Pitch Perfect Premiere, and we will see you guys next time. It was an Aka awesome night. Bye, guys. My song. sister will be suspicious. My lips look delicious. My brother will be there at the door. Waves upon a tropical shore. My maiden's man, mind is vicious. Ooh, yes, it's But maybe just a cigarette more. I've got to get home. Baby, it's bad out there. Say, lend me your coat. No caps to be
face it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine.